Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minifigure Spotlight. Today we have all six of the new scuba suits from the Seabound wave of sets. I decided for the scuba suit reviews I would throw them all into one video rather than making them separate because they all turned out to be about a minute anyway and just ended up cluttering the channel so I thought it'd be more convenient if I just throw them all in one video. So to start off I just want to say Ninja Gun is real and I love how they all have unique guns for the water. That's so cool. I lost Lloyd's, I have no idea where it is, but it's got the arrow piece on the end of it, and this is just such a cool touch to these suits, I love it. So, first suit we have to review here is Scuba Cole, which is a pretty good suit. I think the visor kind of bloats up the face a little bit, which I think looks kind of weird, but once you get used to that, this looks really nice. It really just screams diver outfit, and I think it really works in its favour. So, I don't think it's one of the better suits, but it's by no means bad, it's good. Here's Scuba Cole without his oxygen tank and with his hair on. And these prints are really nice. I love how they have one consistent belt. I know they usually have inconsistent belts and it's really good and makes them more individual. But having the occasional unanimous design is really nice. Wow, I hadn't seen his back printing until just now. And this looks so good. I love the orange on Cole. They've really been leaning into the orange elements for Cole. And it honestly looks so nice on him. I really hope we see more of this color because it looks super good on Cole. So yeah, all in all, this is a really solid figure. I love the colours, and I love the new mould. Next up, we've got Scuba Kai, and I wasn't really a fan of him at first, but he has really grown on me. Like, seriously, this guy is awesome. The red looks so good. Here he is with the armour off and the hair on, and Kai's suits always tend to be really good. Red is just a really, really fun and nice-looking colour for ninja suits. And just mini minifigures in general, red just looks so nice. Here's his back print, which, which looks really, really nice. And the thing about the scuba suits is, I assembled these, like, pretty much right before recording. So, I haven't seen most of the back prints, because of the giant piece of armor that blocks them up. So, this is going to be my first time seeing a good load of them. You know, you know, especially because Kai and Coles just weren't in the show at all. I hope we get more of these weird specialized suits, like the night suits, or the scuba suits, or the digi suits. They look so good, and having a standard suit also is such a win. It makes it so easy to get into collecting and say when like a leg breaks or something you can just get rather than going back and finding Shurikopter you can get Zane's minor creature which I really like. Although these figures really desperately need a re-release Lego. Give the Secrets figures a re-release please. So yeah all in all Kai is really good. So yeah here's Zane's scuba suit. I really love the visor because they all have this really nice blue visor but Zane's is especially good because blue and translucent blue has been an established part of his color scheme for years so that combined with the power source there and the blue belt looks really really nice here he is with his hair and without his armor and this looks really good and his back print like all of these look amazing like the back prints on these are so good and it's such a shame that these really equally good armor pieces block out the awesome back prints but I think it's a sacrifice worth making on the basis that the armor is so nice. I've got to say though, something here feels a little bare. I think we might have done well with having a silver set of arms rather than a white set. But this is still a really nice looking figure. So yeah, Scuba Zane is super good. Moving on, here's Scuba Lloyd and he just looks great. I love when they use the dark uh, green arms for his minifigures. They always end up looking really good. For example, Dev the Departed, Hunted, etc, etc, etc. This guy looks great. So yeah, here he is with his hair and without his armor. And this also looks really nice. This Jays and Nears are the back prints I'm more familiar with because of how much we see them in the show. And this looks really good. I love how... Also, Jay's, I think, has a zip. It's really good and makes him feel a lot more like diving outfits. It's really good. Someone do me a favor, please, and tally how many times I say really good or good in this video. Whoever does that uh, first gets a pinned comment. Uh, yeah, I, I imagine I've said this a lot in this video, but these suits are really, really good. Let's move on to the next one. Scuba J is awesome. Blue, black, and dark blue and hints of grey work really well for a diving outfit and this just looks absolutely amazing as a result of that. This works really well with just Jay's secret hood and armour. This just works really well as just even a non-diving suit so it's amazing to me how it works as both a suit that you'd see underwater and a suit that you'd see on a ninja. This is just such a well-made minifigure. Yeah here he is with his hair and no armour and here's his back print. So yeah, overall, Scuba J is an incredible minifigure and looks so good. Last but definitely not least is the focus character of the season these minifigures are for, Scuba Nia. And this is just an amazing minifigure. I love all the gunmetal details you can see on her torso. Like if you see those little scaly looking bits behind her symbol. They look really good and look even like flowing water. I really love that detail. Also, much like Zane, the blue visor on this one, and also on Jay, 
really complements the minifigure because it works with the color scheme. And I love the gunmetal details. I love how they went for the azure color rather than leaning fully into gunmetal. Because this, I hope it doesn't become a frequent thing if Nier even comes back. But as a one-off thing, it looks really nice. And here she is with no armor and hair. And this is how she looked right before she merged with the water. And this is just amazing. I love this minifigure so much. I think the show definitely heightened it to me for a degree because of the amazing content I associate it with. But this minifigure on its own is also just really, really nice. Here's her back print, which as it turns out, I am remembering and processing for the first time. This looks awesome. I love the back prints on these minifigures so much. So yeah, Scuba Nia is an amazing minifigure and I love her character in Seabound and the design so much. I've got to review Energy Nia at some point. Maybe I'll break link her. Okay, time to rank these minifigures. So this is from worst to best and I like all of them. This is just how much I like each of them. So at number six, we have Scuba Cole. Really good, but I just prefer the rest of them. At number five, we have Scuba Kai. Again, really, really good minifigure, but I just prefer the other ones. At number four, Scuba Zane. Really good minifigure. I love the colors. I love the printing, but I would have put silver arms on him. I think they would look a lot better on the suit. At number three, we have Scuba Lloyd. Not much to say about him. He's just a really, really nice minifigure, and I love the colors on him and prints. And that number two and one, honestly, I looked at these two and I just couldn't decide which is better. These are both amazing minifigures, so they take- Let's just say they're the best, because I honestly can't decide which one of these is better. Although, I would like to hear in the comments which one you think is better. But yeah, I really can't decide which one I think is better, because I look at this one, I think, yeah, Nia's is better. And then I look at Jay and I'm like, eh, is, is she? I don't know, I can't, I just can't decide which of these I prefer. So, let me know what you prefer, I guess. I know that's kind of a cop-out, but what what can you do, you yeah. know? So yeah, uh, just to get a little personal here, this and the Hydro Bounty as like a set concept, and the season concept of Seabound have been my dream season idea and art direction since I was a kid. So, since I was 11, since Possession came out. So Lego, I know I didn't tell you to do this at all. But, but yeah, thank you for doing this. This is this is really really special to me. So yeah, having Sappy Crusty aside, these suits are just incredible, and I love them all. So I like some more than others, but all in all, this is a really great suit line, and I really recommend you get them. All right, so that's for it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and comment and stuff if you have any thoughts or if you liked it, and if you yada yada yada, you get the idea. Uh, shilling the subscribe button. Shilling the subscribe button. 70 whatever the hell percent of my viewers aren't subscribed, yada yada yada, okay, I'm padding, uh, goodbye.